Welcome to my studio. This lesson will demonstrate how to draw a long hair cat in pastel. Please follow along and enjoy. I am drawing on a UART sanded paper with several Carbothello and Pitt pastel pencils along with some new pastel medium hard sticks for this portrait. I like to begin with the eyes of my cat first. I initially put a layer of light blue and gradually develop the color and then the shape of the eyes. Once I have defined the outline of the eyes with the black pastel pencil, I will blend more blues and greens to the eyes and add some final highlight reflections. I will continue to develop and shape her eyes throughout this video, but it's good to establish a good foundation. As I begin the body of the cat, I start by applying a layer of dark pastel to the dark areas of the cat and blend it with using a piece of foam. I press lightly with the pastel stick so I don't fill the tooth of the paper too quickly. Once I have blended some of the color on the surface, the next layers of color are easier to blend using my fingertips. For the rest of the video, I will be developing the fur with my pastel pencils, and I will try to create its texture and softness. Since this is a time-lapse video. I will periodically throughout it add my comments to help clarify my process and techniques to create texture and softness to the body of the cat. So please continue to follow along with the music. I am adding a light color of pastel to the background of the portrait and I will use a piece of foam to blend the uh, color into the paper. It, uh, it's very useful with the first layers otherwise it might irritate my skin trying to blend it with my fingers. But once I've applied uh, one layer of color to the paper, it's much easier to add other colors and blend with my fingertips.
I am using my pastel pencils to develop the underlying hair in the cat's face with shades of darker grays, beige, and light gray in the lightest areas of her face. Much more details will be added later once the entire body has been covered. The finest layers of white will be saved for last. The fur in the body of the cat is thick and long, so to create that illusion of thick hair, it's necessary to apply darker layers of color first and build additional light areas on top. Again, the lightest white will be added last. I begin shaping 
the cat's chest, legs, and feet. I block in the darkest areas first. Once blended, I, I switch to my pastel pencils to shade and begin some of the fur details. I have been gradually developing the background of this portrait throughout my video, but I have decided to add the darker mauve, which complements the cat nicely. I will continue to develop the area where the cat is sitting with shades of gray, and then shape the shadows casting beneath her body with some of the mauve color found in the background of the portrait.
Now that the entire portrait has been nearly drawn, I will focus on the fur details very closely. It takes a long time to add all the details to the portrait, but it certainly brings out the beauty of the animal. By adding the whitest whites to the fur, the contour and definition of the cat stands out and the portrait seems to come to life. I hope you have found this video helpful and I look forward to sharing more videos and tips with you.